YouTube, welcome back. This is JV Inkshu with another Call of Dragons guide video. Today we're going to be looking at the new T1 season talent system. Uh, there's been a lot of questions and we're just going to make a quick video to see what's best. Alright, here's the new season talents for season T1 of Call of Dragons. This is a brand new system in order to help the warriors level up their heroes have as max damage as possible but what are the best ones to get and where do you start out so as you can see we have four different categories battlefield domination range assault engineering mastery and battle preparation and each category will have different talents so if we take a look at them battlefield Domination has during this season you will gain one stack of glory bound for every 200,000 merits you receive Increasing all damage dealt by 0.1% a max of 10 stacks So if you get all 10 stacks That's 1% That says you probably have to have about you would have to have at least 2 million merits to get the 10 the one percent of the increased uh, damage compared to the ranger assaults your legion deals 1.5 percent more hero skill damage or increase the march speed of your legion units by five percent now as you can see there's different tiers to each category and they are unlocked by certain auger stone events if you take a look at the talent quest how do you get your talent points you'd have to complete some talent quest as you can see here standard talent unlocked finish the auger stone stage golden dream since ours just finished it gave me a point so actually well it gave me three points so for each quest that you complete it'll give you talent points now if we read this there are four unique branches of the season talents right basic standard advanced and super that's the different tier list uh, for each category you can only activate one talent on each level of the branch different talent levels are different talent points cost so some of them might cost one some of them might cost two or three uh yeah exactly so basic cost one standard talents cost two advanced cost three talent points and the super talents cost four now talent points can be obtained by completing season quest and you can up to a total of 21 talent points for the whole season basic talent points as soon as you came on uh start the season the base basic tier is already unlocked allowing you to select one of them from the category or two depending on how many points you start off uh, now I did hear about uh, yes so what happens if you select one you don't like and you want to reset it there's a reset button here on the top right corner to reset all your talent and return all its the spent talent points to you, allowing the condition must be met. The following: No legions outside of your city, neither your city nor your legions are in combat, so you can't be like a war frenzy. Uh, and you will not be able to reset them again for 40 days. So you can only reset them once, and then you have to wait another 40 days to reset them again. So make sure to be careful to select the ones you need. Now let's talk about which ones do I recommend when you're starting out the new season. Personally, when you start out the scene, there's not a lot of action. It's a lot of PVE, killing Darklings, donating, trying to level up your heroes. Uh, so, what do I suggest? I suggest from the battle preparation, you go with Renown. Gain 10% more prestige from defeating Darkling forces and destroying Darkling forts. 
So this is gonna give you more prestige for every every time you kill darklings or forts, allowing you to upgrade your policies. The next thing I would suggest after that, I would increase the back in business, increase CP recovery speed by 10%. So once this unlocks, I would be going for the back in business. Allow me to my CP recover faster, which in return will allow me to attack more Darklings quicker at a, at a higher rate uh, compared to see this in Glory of War. You gain 20% merits through the combat with other players. You gain up to 100,000 merits per week through this skill. This would also be good, but at the beginning of the season, there's not any merits until a couple weeks so it doesn't make sense so you want to maximize the amount of how fast you can level up those heroes and artifacts uh so when the war really does start so i would suggest getting the, the renown and then when the back in business the second tier opens i would go for back in business and then i'll start pumping out killing those talents those darklings and forts and that should allow me to upgrade my heroes quicker uh, and then what I probably will do after that, depending on how many points I have, I'm probably going to go for range assault because I'm mostly mages, archers from just, you know, attacking from a distance. So I'll probably go from the range assault tree. Uh, let's see, probably go for the forceful leadership. Hearts as one when you're when you have at least one range legion in the battlefield, each additional range legion that enters the battlefield increases range. So wow, okay. Burning rage. Legion gets three percent more normal attack. A micro for burning rage. Your magic unit gains five more rage. Per second on the field and deals 10% more hero skills damage or long range for your marksman unit have an attack range equal to your magic units on the field but they have 50% less physical attack wow I'm mostly a mage player so I might I might go for arcane turret and then suppressive fire every time your rage legion deals normal attack to a target the target match the target to march speed and range completion is reduced. Yeah, so my plan will be renowned, back to business. And I might hit a reset once I have most of my policies and all my heroes leveled up, and then start going for the range assault. Think that's my plan so i should wrap it up if you have any questions leave a comment hit the like button and make sure to subscribe i hit you guys later